I saw Ordinary People twice. Let's talk about a little bit about the trailer. Ordinary People, the trailer, pretty much tells you the whole story. So if you want to watch the movie, I'd say avoid the trailer. I saw this movie twice. Um, you know, people watch this today and they say, uh, oh, it's just a typical teen drama show. Just been there, done that kind of film. But in those days, in the early 1980s, people didn't see films like that. Films that dealt with sensitive top t topics such as mental health, suicide prevention, depression. Films like that were extremely few and far between. So when this movie came out, everyone was just gasping. Gosh, what kind of film is this? And people were saying, I relate to this. And it did pretty much start the whole teen genre era for the rest of the 1980s. Interestingly enough, when I first saw it, and, I, and you see young Donald Sutherland, that's Donald Sutherland in the picture right there in the middle. When you first see Donald Sutherland as a young man, you will easily mistake him for his son Kiefer. I, I actually mistook him for his son Kiefer. Looked like him. Sounded a little bit like him, though. And all of a sudden, it just hit me. Oh my goodness, that's Donald Sutherland as a younger man. I've seen him in a few films, aside from The Hunger Games. I've seen him in JFK. But I've only seen him in his recent year, recent years when it comes to films. And uh, The Hunger Games, of course, is one of his best ones. It's good to see him as the villain. But it's also nice to see him play a good character as well. In this one, he's a good guy. Hunger Games fans out there, if you're watching this, and if you're a Hunger Games fan, if you want to see President Snow as a good guy, check this one out. But don't watch the trailer. This is just my reaction to the trailer. I've seen the trailer many times before I saw the movie, and I saw the movie twice, like I said. The next video you'll see is my full review for Ordinary People.